<laughs> hang in there babe hang in there just clean up the lens you know it's a bit dusty it's been a minute welcome back guys welcome back to another vlog your girl is on her way out this is a very exciting vlog actually i think it is because we've got so much lined up i've got so much lined up for you and some serious adulting stuff i'm feeling really what's the word i'm feeling really excited nervous a whole bunch of emotions i'm on my way out guys this is an adulting vlog i am going to go and get my smear test i am 26 now and my smear test was due when i was 25 and i still haven't had it so your girl is on her way to go and get the smear test and i'm gonna bring you guys along i hope they let me film in there honestly i don't is that a thing you can do can you film at the gp because you couldn't film at the bank i tried that and i couldn't film at the bank but um yeah guys welcome back this is going to be an adulting vlog we're going to be talking about like serious stuff and like cocktails <laughs> i'm going to bring you guys along and i'm going to i'm going to narrate the whole thing hopefully she lets me film but anyway we'll get to that in a moment first of all i want to say a massive massive thank you to my sponsors of this video who are natural cycles guys i feel like it makes a lot of sense for us to talk about natural cycles because it's all very womanly and so you guys already know that i've been using natural cycles for about two and a half years now what is natural cycles it's basically a non-hormonal birth control app i said app yes so the way it works you guys already know i've shown you this before probably like a year and a half ago in a vlog as in non-sponsored me just using it so like i said it's an app and it works with a basal body thermometer this thing so you take this the very first thing in the morning before you even reach for your phone to scroll on instagram you put it in your mouth underneath your tongue there's instructions you can use on the website it tells you exactly how to do it um and then you get your temperature you take that temperature and you input it into the app and that helps you understand where you are within your fertility window whether you need to be using protection or not though one thing i do have to stress out girls girls i can't stress out enough that this doesn't protect you from any STDs. But however, it's perfect for tracking where you are in your fertility window. So after taking your temperatures in the morning, you want to make sure that you do this roughly around the same time every morning. Try and be consistent with it. Log it onto the app and the app basically keeps a track of all of that and it tells you your most fertile days and your least fertile days. And then that way, you know when you can be doing the jiggy jiggy if you want to do it unprotected that is however like i said before like i said i can't stress it enough this does not protect you from any stds or stis so you probably want to use another barrier method to protect you i want to leave all the details and extra information in the description box be sure to check it out natural cycles is the first and only certified birth control app available in the us and in europe check out the description box and let me know what you think and cheers to more green days i don't know about you but it's all about the green days for now let's go and get this who this smear test done guys i can't tell you i can't really say i'm shook i'm a little bit shook but not really because i've had like sti checks and like like a full sti checks when they put that thing the thing the thing that's the thing that everyone hates the most i've done that before so i feel like it's not going to be that new for me but at the same time my legs are going to be like this open to a random lady so that's a thing um let's go should we go <sighs> let's go guys if you've had your smear test let me know in the comments how it went how was your experience and um come on let's just do this let's do it so i'm at my nurses i don't know where my highlight is on my cheek what kind of madness is this um about to boss it open for a real nurse <laughs> lol how am i feeling i don't know nervous a little bit a bit nervous excited probably not but um yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm just happy that i'm getting this done because i should have got this done last year you meant to get it done when you turn 25 and send you a letter when you turn 25 i got the letter i ignored it they sent me one again like three months later i ignored it and now it's been like a whole year and some and is when i'm getting it done don't do that don't be like me be sure to get your pap smear done after this i'm gonna go home my mom i'm at home by the way um yeah Bust it up for real nurse. Bust it up for real nurse. Why is my highlight down here? What exactly am I highlighting? Anyway, Jamaica Reloaded playlist. I'm gonna link it for you guys for those who have been asking for the JA playlist. I've got one for you. I don't know why there are lights in here. A blue, but you look like I'm on crack. What's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna have a pee first. I need to use a ladies room first so that it's not uncomfortable I think apparently if you use a ladies before you get the pap smeared on then it's less uncomfortable so your girl 
is gonna spend a penny in the toilet. Be right back, gotta pee. So my doctor, she's about to go and check to see if I'm actually allowed to vlog in here. I might not be, so let's fingers crossed that I can and show you what it's like to be on that bed with my legs both wide open. <laughs> Lol. Pap smear done. It was so simple and like so, I can't explain how non-monumental it is. I'm so annoyed I wasn't actually allowed to film. <laughs> if they find that little clip of me filming in there, oh, I might get kicked out of my GP. But I did it for you guys, so um, I, yeah. It was so quick. If you've ever had a full STI screening where they use the um, speculum, I think, that's probably the worst part of it, but it's not even bad at all. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram stories um, so that I can share my experience. First of all, the question that people are asking a lot is, is it painful? Is it painful? Is it uncomfortable? No. It's like, like I said, out of a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being like excruciating pain. I wouldn't even say it's a 0.5. It's it's not painful it's uncomfortable at worst and it's not even it's not even uncomfortable it's just like it's just it's just a thing that's i can't even describe it so no i wouldn't say it's painful at all somebody has asked um what is the purpose what are they smearing for what are they smearing for a, a pap smear test is a test used to detect cancerous and non-cancerous cells in your cervix just it's basically cervical screening to see if you possibly have any cells that could be cancerous which obviously with cancerous cells it's always best if it's pulled early if there's any kind of abnormality ab ab abnormalities ab abnormal what abnormal you're not normal abnorm ab i can't say that word the whole thing is really simple they use a speculum uh, you lie in the little bed you put your knees up and then you open your legs <laughs> some of you are very good at that and <laughs> i joke stop it um and then she basically just scrapes the cervix it's not it's not painful it's not uncomfortable and they use that to test um yeah they test the cells in there and you get your results in about four to six weeks why is the dog looking at me like that this is my mother so um this is very exciting <laughs> hi mom hi baby how are you i'm fine how are you i'm good thank you i'm just telling them about the pup smear test nice to see you you see you nice? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Mom has her magnets, guys. You guys know about the magnets. No, so these are the lemon, right? Yeah. From Chinkitere. Chinkitere. Mm. What's this one? What's that? Oh, Portofino. Yeah, of course. Oh, that was also in Italy, but that's a different side of Italy, apparently. Mm. Portofino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning guys. I am in a fantastic mood today. I've been in a really like in a good good funk. I haven't done anything. I've been extremely unproductive. Let that let the books know that I've been extremely unproductive. But I've been so happy lately. I don't know why. Well I know why, but it's like uh anyways, I'm just in a good place. I feel like Jamaica was a really, really good thing for me to have done because I came back so much more happy. Even my friends, like, they're like, you live in a cloud. You literally live in a cloud somewhere and you need to come back down. I don't want to come down. No. Anyway, I don't know why I said that. That's a tangent. Um, I, I look like Pat Butcher today, so that's a thing that's happening. Especially with a haircut, it's very Pat Butcher. Top is from Motel Rocks. I will show you. Why do I look dry? Why does my chest look dry? What's that? What's going on? Okay, we need to sort that out. Um, we're going to the bank. We've got a meeting with the bank. We've got uh, setting up our business account, our setting up my business account. Um, and then I've been meaning to do this since before I went to Jamaica. So it's overdue. And we're going to go do that, meet the bank manager and just discuss like business plans, basically. That's the plan for today. And then later on in the evening, Dot is around. Dot being my younger sister, you guys already know, right? If you're new to the channel, I have a younger sister called Dot. She's better than me, she's prettier than me, and she's everything that I'm not, and I want to be her. But <laughs> she's around, and wow, that's still there, that mark, huh? Hmm, interesting. If you've watched my channel, how long have you had that mark for? And can you tell me where that mark came from? Because you're a real OG if you know where that came from. But yeah, tell me in the comments. So yeah, Dot's around. She's around for like the next five days. You get five days of Dot, guys. Five days. She's the best. I love her so much. So she's around. I'm taking her out for dinner um, in the evening. We're going to go to Steak and Lobster, I believe. Got a reservation for there. Haven't been before. She likes fish. I like lobster. Well, I like like um, shellfish and stuff. And wow, I'm doing it again. Nobody... <laughs> 
nobody asked. But we're going to Burger and Lobster because we like fish. Let's just leave it as that, right? It's me. It's that splat. It's that splat. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are in, where are we at? Gloucester Road. We're in Kensington. Kensington, going for la mm, lunch, dinner. Going for dinner with the babes. So we're going to Scoff and Barnet. I Hi. thought we were going to Red Lobster, um, Red Lobster, but we're not. Is it Red Lobster? Burger and Lobster. What? I thought we were going to Burger and Lobster, but to? Scoff and Barnet. I definitely put the wrong reservation to the wrong place, but it's okay. I'm saying that we we're gonna have um, Burger and Lobster. I don't know where I got that from. Reservations at Scoff and Banter in South Kes, well, Kensington, Gloucester Road. It's right there. Wow, the traffic is moving hard. I'm here with baby girl, the actual baby girl. The baby hey, baby the girl. Baby. Oh, that's us. Um, yeah, Scop and Banter, this is like a PR thing, so I've never been here before, but it looks very nice, no? It's very nice. It looks gorgeous, looks absolutely divine. Pretty, pretty. I, I don't know why I thought we were going. I hate sirens. Welcome to my house, welcome to my crib. Oh, it's lovely in here. It is beautiful, isn't it? Let me tell you what. It's freezing cold outside, man. Do you want me to take it? No, it's okay, darling. Thank you. <laughs> no. Your weird luck. And dun 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 dun. Um, guys, it's freezing cold outside. This is why I have a coat. Wow, everyone here really drives a Jeep. Uh, sorry, a Range Rover. Look, Doc. So many G wagons out here and so many Range Rovers. What am I doing in life? Oh, this is. I'm just. This is affirmations. I'm just living the life I'm going to live before I live it. That's what's up, baby. <laughs> That's what you always get with me, huh? Period. Just readjust my breast. Yeah, guys. So we are at. Um, we are at Scoff and Banta. What a name. The place is beautiful. I can't explain how beautiful it is. Um, yeah. I really wish I wore my green top. I feel like that would have gone better with this place. Maybe. But here I am looking at Pat Butcher. It's okay. It's okay. Everybody say it's okay. Everybody say yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Everybody say yeah. Yeah. I'm really excited for food. I'm going to eat absolutely everything. Uh. Everything. Okay. The lighting. Twelve out of ten. Not so much for you, baby. But you know. <laughs> oh, thank you. Right, so chat to us. This is a porn star. Porn star martini, babes. Oh, this is a porn star martini. Yeah. <laughs> With a shot of prosecco. As always, Dot doesn't like prosecco, so. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'll just, <laughs> just dash it over here, babes. Yeah, I'll look know. after it for you, babes. Don't worry okay. about it. Prosecco is life. You know that, right? Hmm? When I say prosecco, I just have so much fun. Like, it evokes so much fun in my mind. Because I've had so much fun whilst in Prosecco that Prosecco is like I wanted something Mexican. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I did, didn't I? We were at an English restaurant. I know. Yeah. And I was like, Mexican. That's what I feel like, babe. But I'm Mexican. Let me get another taste. You always pick the really interesting ones. It's sour. It's not sweet. Maybe. It's very strong. That's yeah? <laughs> Does it slap hard? It slaps. And this one's like. No, I'm so tired of porn star martinis. Seriously regret not wearing a bra. I don't know who I thought I was with my standing bits. Thank you. <laughs> I'm about to look, you actually caught me. I'm about to order another one. Another three. What would you want next? I don't know, baby girl. Thing with like a roast inside it. And then this is corn cocktails, cocktails and this is salmon. You go first, babe. Slaps. And this one's like. No, I'm so tired of porn star martinis. Nine, nine o'clock. We've been here for three hours. We have eaten to our heart's content. I can't tell you. I have no more space. Like, I'm done, really done. Done, done. Are you done? How was the food, though? 10 out of 10. Yeah? 10 out of 10. I'm just, I can't, we can't even speak anymore. I've got crumble that I can't finish because there's just no space. I've eaten so much food today. 
Yeah. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Your girl has started her day in a very typical Lydia fashion. I am in High Street Cares. Wow, my hair looks a mess. Um, I'm in High Street Kensington, and I was meant to be here at half past. And uh, it's currently quarter two because your girl went to the wrong station. I went to um, South Kensington, as opposed to High Street Kensington. I have a meeting with Sony today, and I'm so freaking excited. What am I doing meeting with Sony? But they got in touch. They want me to go and meet them in their offices and just discuss like what I do, what I get up to, and see like opportunities that we can work on together. I'm so freaking excited. Sony music, that is. So yeah. I'm in High Street Kensington, I had to email them to let them know that your girl is at the wrong station, so um, this is how I live my life. And uh, they understand. <laughs> this is not good, this is not how you conduct business, but it's all good. Um, I have no eyelashes on today and no mascara because I couldn't be bothered. Currently obsessed with Pop Khan. Pop Khan, ever since Jamaica, like a the Forever album is my album. Like, I love it so much. After Sony, going back home, and I have work to do. I have a video that's due tomorrow. Have I filmed it? No. Is it going to be ready on time? Always. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And Dot's still around, so I'm, I want to hang out with her. This is excellent lighting, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the lights in here. Wow. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let me just be honest. I don't know what I'm doing here, but here we are. <laughs> Thank you for the invite, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we're about to do uh, an interview, basically. Uh, just finding out about me, my channel, what I do. And I think that's going to help see if there's any opportunities that we can work on together. I'm just really excited to be here because it's a pretty cool building. But um, yeah, there's a lot of lights. I need this lighting when I'm doing my videos at home. This is perfect light. It's making me look like I'm glowing. Um, and I love it, I love it so much. But yeah, I'll let you guys know how the interview goes. Maybe I'll put some snippets, who knows, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing here, guys. Here we are, here we are. I'm so freaking excited, they're all so amazing. They're all so amazing. I'm treating myself to some lunch at Island Poking. The weather is miserable outside. It's so grey, like, why is it always like this? I love salmon, like, ah, and it's got egg. Egg, salmon, sarachi. We're celebrating. I don't know about the fruit on this, but... I love food. I love food. You guys back home. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so tired. I'm so annoyed. I keep getting my foundation on my, my white. This white bit here. It's annoying. I'm just going to go to my local nail shop and then come back and um and then do some work my brother's here i don't think you guys have ever seen my brother you haven't seen him but he's around my back my back hurts oh i just want a nap i just want a nap oh should i nap in the middle of organizing our bank holiday weekend i'm so freaking excited um pretty much the same as last time i want to go and watch that vlog now actually and when i'm in the nail shop um, me, Bimmy and Bissy and we're gonna get a place, we're gonna get a really really nice place somewhere, probably like Canary Wharf or somewhere in Greenwich a nice apartment, then we have like a long girls weekend just going out, eating, drinking uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, really looking forward to it but I keep telling the girls that I want us to be really organised I want us to at least have breakfast I want us to at least have like one meal together each and every single day and that's not like a takeaway so, dinner, I don't see any of us cooking dinner but I mm, personally I will not attempt to cook dinner but I'm going to try and coerce one of them girls to cook dinner um, so we have one nice evening together like nice meal because we're going to get a really nice house and I want to make uh, use of the house that we get as opposed to just kind of being in and out of it you know we go back nails done always the same even Dot was asking me why do I do my nails the same colour same shape every time because I like them like this I just like them simple nude plain I don't need all of that extra colour. I did that before. I used to do like grey, pink, blue, purple. But I just, I like this nude look. It's very cute. She yeah, looks so cute. We looking cute. <laughs> wow. So pretty. Thanks. We are off to two events today. We're going to Scene Group. They've got like a Primark Lash On event. And then we're going to Nas. I'm excited about Nas. You excited about Nas, though? Hello. Hello. Excited. 
I have the most uncomfortable shoes on, like the most uncomfortable shoes on. Very, very nice. We went to Kingston, so we there for Bougie then. Quick photo op, photographer, right here. This is how we take a picture for the, for the brand. Wow, <laughs> you are so rude. I'm so tired of it. She said, I'm so tired of that dirty pose. Look at that. It's the one dot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All that. All that. All that. That's mine. We are in Koya in Mayfair, it's really gorgeous here. Um, Iman, thank you so much for inviting me. She's such a babe, I'm such an absolute babe. Um, let me get this picture for Doc first. Video or picture? Picture. <laughs> 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 Dot's gone. She didn't get to say goodbye. I'm so sorry. That was a bit rude of us not to say goodbye to you guys, but it's all good. Just finished editing the Jamaica vlog and I'm so excited to share it. Although a part of me is like it doesn't really want I don't really want to share it because not no, I don't want to share it, but part of me is hesitant to share it because as much as the vlog is fun, it's literally I'd say about five percent of the actual fun that we had although i really enjoyed putting it together i feel like i'm just doing you guys a disjustice because you had to be there it was literally one of those where you had to be there my room my bed isn't even made i'm gonna come back change my sheets um how am i feeling i'm okay well i have been better not as happy not as cheery as usual your girl got ghosted i literally got ghosted yesterday i don't know if, why i'm still being the ghosty in this life um i don't understand like really intruding <laughs> i thought this one was a uh, us yeah, I thought he's gonna be alright, but anyway, I don't know. I don't even I don't even class it as ghosted because he kind of excused himself. He was like, I don't know. Anyway, why am I even telling you? I'm not gonna try and tell you. Uh, I just got just know that your girl got ghosted. We're getting ghosted out here, but I'm feeling okay because you know, remember your source. Remember your source. I tweeted this like two weeks ago, and I had to like be like, oh gee, yeah, remember your source. So I'm feeling okay. I said I was a bit down about it. I can't lie. I'm not gonna try and play it out. But um, I used that energy to just put it into editing the vlog and we managed to get the vlog edited. Literally, I spent the entire day in my bed, the entire day, because I was feeling like, hmm, a bit blue, you know, the weather's a bit gray. And then I had that vlog hanging over me and then just freshly ghosted. So I figured, yeah, let's put this energy in, let's turn it into work. And now I'm happy. And you should all be happy that I got ghosted because now we have a vlog coming out. <laughs> You'd have watched it by the time you watched this. Yeah, that's it. Just thank you guys for your continued support. I know I say it every single vlog and it's so cringe and it's so tiring, but thank you for your continued support. Um, you guys are like my faves. You really are. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I shall see you guys in my next weekend's vlog. Mm -hmm. A bit blue, you know. the weather's a bit grey and then I had that vlog hanging over me